Now, the Adama State Government has commended the United Nations for earmarking $375 million to tackle food shortage, insecurity, and other humanitarian challenges in the Northeast. The governor gave the commendation during uh, a meeting with a high powered delegation from the United Nations. Uh, with traditional and religious leaders in the insurgency ravaged communities of Madagali local government area of Adama State. Take a listen. According to the UN report on food security across the 21 local government areas of Adama State, about 700,000 are under crisis of emergency levels of food, nutrition, and insecurity. Madagali, Michika, and other areas are affected by insurgency and denied access to farmlands, which are critical. It is for these reasons that a delegation from the UN, led by the resident and humanitarian coordinator and the representative of the Secretary General, is in Nigeria. The country representative, while setting the tone for the discussion, reveals that the UN agencies have distributed agricultural inputs to over 10,000 households across the five mostly affected LGAs in Adamawa State. And also the issue of peace building in Michigan and around the, the areas here. And uh, these are critical to address the intercommunal disputes that always that are very critical in this region. From the small uh, understanding I had for my last visit, um, I also want to really enforce, reinforce one reality we are dealing with: the humanitarian situation does not end with a military success or securing towns or LGAs. Representatives of traditional and religious leaders speak on some of their challenges and call on the government to intervene urgently. Our people have planted so many things, but there is no fertilizer. You are not allowed to bring fertilizer in this land. Is against the ethic of the military. Poverty, the level of insecurity that our people have been experiencing for the past seven, eight years. Most of our youth uh, have been out of jobs. While the Damawa state government describes the interaction as positive, it, however, assured the UN delegation of doing everything possible to complement their efforts. Mainly, they have come to get first hand information interacting with community leaders and the women and farmers on their challenges with respect to accessing their farmlands. The delegation also meets with women who are the bulk of the farmers and those whose husbands were killed by the insurgents. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.